Hi. So I was, uh, oh, I'm Jess. Um, I'm a mom. I'm a business owner of a business called Stark Skin Care. We also make hair care, so maybe it's a bit of a misnomer. Or I'm making hair care. It's not at this time, August 2021, for sale. Not available on my site yet, but it's coming. I'm working on it. Anyways, I was asked, um, how do I style my hair now? And um, it's changed. I used to be curly girl. Then I kind of went wavy girl. So curly girl with like some amendments. Um, but overall, I found that whole method to just be way too much work. And so um, as my hair got longer, it sort of got less curly. So I was less worried about maintaining curl and so now it's really just become about hair health um i am using my own products at this time and it's a product that's not available yet as i said so i can't give you a product recommendation except for keep your eye open for the yellow bar in my line um its name may or may not be helios i don't know yet because it doesn't really it doesn't exist yet as a product, but I think that's going to be the name. Let me know in the comments below if you like that name, Helios. Um, it's a yellow, it's a yellow bar. Um, and also my hair serum with no name. I can't even, I actually forgot it in the bathroom, but um, I will be using that. But I'll show you what I do. So I just took a shower. I just got out like five minutes ago. Haven't done skincare, haven't done makeup, anything like that. I'm just dressed for the video. Um, I haven't, I think I sort of squeezed out my hair, like I just took out some excess, but I haven't towel dried it. Now, I think the most important thing to mention about my hair right now is the way that it's cut. So I took, um, I've been obsessed with Edo Salon and Jane Matthews for years. If you go back on my old videos, I talked about these like shag haircuts and how much I love them, these little French bobs. Um, this is back when my hair was like quite a bit shorter and then I had bangs, but it, it wasn't a real shag. It wasn't cut with a razor. I was always really scared of having my hair cut by a razor, with a razor, by a razor. Um, and then during the pandemic, I've always been a self hair cutter. And during the pandemic, Jane Matthews of Edo Salon, who arguably is the one who made, um, that haircut popular, the wolf cut or the shag, uh, the shallot, the mullet, the modern mullet. Um, arguably she's the one who made it popular again. Go see her Instagram account if you want to know what I'm talking about. Um, and she started giving courses on how to cut your own hair using a feather razor. It's a brand of razor from Japan with the safety guard on it. And so, Thousands of us have now taken her hair course and I personally I highly recommend it It's a little bit of an investment, especially if you're not dealing with in American dollars um, So it's a bit of an investment, but it's the cost of a couple of good haircuts It's really for those of you who love DIY. You're not afraid of cutting your own hair. You've tried it many times Maybe you failed sometimes maybe you've succeeded, but you're definitely not afraid of it you don't hold too much attachment to your hair um if you are the type of person who's like you would say something like i am deathly scared of like cutting bangs or cutting my own bangs don't do it <laughs> there's certain people who just have it in them to like take a knife to their hair and there's people who just don't know thyself but having said that i think it's an excellent course so my hair is cut in a shag um, and so that means that my hair dries a certain way. It's styled a certain way. Um, so this method may or may not work for you. But again, I'll just show you what I do. So my hair is wet. There is no product in it. I have this multi-use, multi, it's like the, uh, how would you call it? It's like the Swiss Army knife of combs. And I'm just going to brush all of my bangs forward. And my bangs go pretty much all the way back to the crown, um, including the little like side bits, which is the most fun part of your hair when you have a shag or like a mullet, I guess, is like these, the, the uh, sideburn area. Hope the audio is okay. Um, so yeah, you brush everything forward, you look like this, and then all you do is you just kind of like 
part the center very gently and this creates the curtain in your curtain bangs. Mine are shorter than like long, like than curtain curtain bangs, um, but they're all sort of done the same way. Now, the rest of the hair, I'm just gonna give it a little comb. So one of the best things about uh, abandoning Strict Curly Girl is combing your hair because I really like to detangle. I like to distribute product this way. Oh yeah, I should put product in my hair. And also, it's a great way to distribute your natural oils around your hair, especially if your hair is a lot like mine. So my hair is like medium fine. It's definitely fine now that um, I have a razor cut. Like my ponytail is not very thick, um, which is, I don't mind. It doesn't bother me. That used to be something that used to, like my ego used to be like, no, I need like a thick ponytail. I don't care. I like the way my hair looks. I don't need a thick ponytail. This isn't like a, you know, pissing competition. So... I'm just going to get my hair serum and I'll be right back. Okay, so um, this is my beautiful serum. As you can see, the branding is gorgeous. If I'm looking in the wrong spots because I'm using my phone and like the camera, as you guys know, like on the front facing camera, it's so small that I like get lost and I look at the like pause button and I don't know. Anyways, I use, okay, so this thing doesn't dispense a lot of product at a time, so it might look like I'm using a lot of product, but I'm not. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's say five. It's like a goop. It's a glob about that size. Distribute it through your palm. And I just kind of rake it through the lengths of my hair. So this um, this product is like a light hold gel, but it's mostly about hair health. It contains some amino acids. Um, it contains some hydration ingredients, um, some pro a little bit of protein um some rice protein some oat protein some amino acids <sighs> some other stuff that just is good for your hair <laughs> this isn't like a, a video about this product and i also put some in around my roots because this is a very root and scalp friendly in fact not just friendly but beneficial product which is my favorite kind of thing and also just messing it up up there a little bit will give it a little bit more volume when it dries. Although I don't really have an issue with volume. Um, oh yeah, so there's two class. Jane Jane has two classes. Um, there's the bang one and the root one. Uh, sorry, the crown. Uh, crown volume, is that what it's called? Crown layers? I think crown layer um, class. And I've taken both. And I took them when they were live on her Zoom, but I think she's going, she either does or she will have them available on her website. You can just purchase the replay. They're very long. You go step by step on how to do it. Um, not sponsored. Uh, so I've done both. So I have these really short layers up here that I love because I'd always have volume and then super flat back here. And that's like not really an issue anymore. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. Those four pumps. And what I love about having a shag haircut and about not doing curly girl anymore is that with this hair type, you're encouraged to actually touch your hair as much as you want because it makes your haircut look better and it makes your bangs look better and it makes your layers look better. So I'm like, oh, encouraging us to touch our hair? Yes. Because I'm like a chronic hair toucher. Um, I'm just kind of like doing this. Like I'm pretty much done. Like this is it. So I'm going to let it air dry. Okay, so it's really important that your, well, if you want to wear your hair, your bangs down, that you kind of push your bangs together and forward because however they are right now is essentially what they're going to be like when they dry. It's really hot and humid today, so I might regret um, having forward bangs today and not just kind of more swept to the side bangs, but we'll see how they end up drying. So I'm just going to go about my morning. Um, maybe come back with some skincare on, maybe come back with some mascara on, but I'm just going to let it air dry just as you see it, just like this. I'm going to try not to touch it too much. Keep these bangs kind of pinched together and forward. That is it. So I will come back when my hair is dry. Oh yeah, I forgot to add. I do some scrunching.
didn't abandon everything, Curly Girl. <laughs> Actually, I still incorporate a lot of Curly Girl things into my routine. Scrunching was one, using a t-shirt to dry. But as you can see, I don't even know how long, how much time went by. I think only 15, 20 minutes has gone by. Look how much, like my hair is drying pretty quickly. Like it's still wet, but it's not sopping wet. Wep. <laughs> sopping wet. Um, but I remember back in the, my curly girl days when my hair was so much shorter, it's unreasonable for me to spend four hours drying my hair. Like, no, I actually like washing my hair every other day. And if I had to spend four hours drying my hair, like, there's no way, especially not in the winter. I'm about to have a coughing fit. Okay, I'll be back when I'm dry. I'm layering videos upon videos right now. So um, if you like this makeup look, I literally just made a video on how I did this because I'm getting ready for another video. So I'm trying to be smart and like, batch some YouTube content together. My son is at camp this week, so that's kind of what I need to do. So my hair is dry now. I think it's been, well, it's 12.55 now. I think it was 10.30 or something. So it's been dry for a little bit. Um, I still do like the, like, I still scrunch out my hair, but the gel that I made leaves very little cast. Um, go and this is what it looks like let's let's assess let's assess yeah that's my hair <laughs> so that is I mean that's it and then throughout the day while my hair is dry um the thing that you do with with your shag is you just kind of you just kind of do this and you just kind of adjust it. Um, there's ways of like blow drying your hair so you get more of like the Stevie Nicks, you know, bangs with like the perfect, the perfect flip. I don't like my hair too perfect. I like it looking just pretty much like this. Um, you can always put it in a little ponytail or like a little chignon or a little bun. And honestly, this is one of my favorite haircuts I've ever had. Um, I'm really happy with my whole styling routine. It is so simple. My hair feels so healthy. I bleached it last year, so I still have, you know, quite a bit of a bleach in it. I don't really know where it starts. Um, I have been toning my hair back to brown to kind of keep it darker. So I do, I've learned I do prefer my hair darker. Some highlights is fine, but I do like, yeah, just, I, I'm a brunette. Um, and so, yeah, my new hair care line, um, sign up on my newsletter so that you can get notifications as to when it's going to launch. I do plan on having it late summer, early fall, at least the first product. I wanted to do like a whole launch of the line, but I don't think that's going to happen. It's just, it's too hard just me managing all of this on my own. Um, so it might be like more of a come as you are one at a time sort of launch. Um, but I am really excited for you guys to have healthy, happy, but like simple hair, um, and hair care and a hair care routine. Um, I'll show you the back. I don't even know what it looks like back there. Oh, it's still a bit damp. But that is my hair now. Um, so as you can see, I'm probably curlier when my hair is shorter but I still have quite a bit of texture and um, the razor cut was a very good move for me. I had never had a razor cut that I actually liked, excuse me, but luckily gave myself one that I like, so I'm quite pleased with that. Um, anyways, I will see you guys next time. I think that's all I really have to show. There's not much more than that. That's literally how I do my hair now, maybe in the winter. I mean, it'll probably change with the seasons because I'll probably have to have a blow dry. Uh, routine because it's so cold where I live that I, I can't like go around with wet hair um, But my hair does dry really quickly now the gel my gel serum. It's kind of an it's meant to be an air dry product, so it does help um, You know fine textured hair dry quickly And so I don't really feel the need to use any heat or stylers on it 
um, which is great because my hair is definitely getting healthier again. And healthier hair and scalp always is going to look better, no matter what your texture is, even if it's not the texture. You know, even if your dream texture isn't the texture you were born with, if you work with what you have, you're going to have the best hair that you possibly can have. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I will see you next video. Bye.